morning everyone so here I am I'm at Red River just approaching it now just having a look at where it would be nice to um, set up and do a little bit of work um, here would be a nice spot but it's a little bit secluded so I'm going to look for somewhere a little bit better it's nice and early but you still get your dog walkers out so still have to be careful if you're doing this and you, you know you always have to be vigilant of people and so just be very careful a giant bench here this might be a nice spot doesn't feel quite right okay so this is a nice spot here it's a nice big bench just bought me bag a lot nice giant bench um, but all the greenery is all around me so and that's what I'm out here capturing today is colour and some marks so uh, it's nice and quiet early in the morning there's nobody about so yeah looks down there So, just having a bit of a scribble on the page and not worrying about anything and not thinking about lines or anything like that. Just having a bit of a scribble and a scratch about. Just with a gel pen, a uh, black gel pen. And then uh, coming in after that with some more of the bits and bobs of um, things that I have. Some charcoal, bits of charcoal, some woody pencils. And just rubbed them all in and added water and uh, spattered some ink about and yeah really enjoyed it um nice and easy and um, smudging here and there and um, then adding a little tiny few drops of alcohol ink so uh, um yeah straightforward easy to do so i've mixed up some lovely greens from the yellow and black and i've just smeared them about everywhere and worked hard on it and um, just placed them in really because uh, uh, it's just acrylic acrylic paint just uh, in there and then on top of that when it was slightly drying um, I've used some um, ink some just some Indian ink and um, just spreading that about with a trowel a trowel with a palette knife and uh, really enjoying doing that um, I love the palette knife I love the marks that they give I'm also going in with some black paint over the top of that as well so uh, yes really enjoyed that part um, and then you can use them for splatters and of course you can turn your palette knife sideways on and make some lines with it so just mark making and really having fun and enjoying it so um, not too not too you know stiff and things like that and when I'd had enough I moved on to the next drawing some nice greens here Look pretty real to me Taking Amanda's advice and doing just like a concertina, but I couldn't do it very big because I've only not got much paper left. Shall have to get some. <laughs> this was my setup. And then I've got some more down here that I've done. Just all explorations of colour, really. Thanks Amanda, I should do this more often. It's a quite particularly like this one.
This one's upside down. I found the right greens that I needed to use now, so that's one good thing. Um, and then I thought that I'd like adding it in to these, uh, the ink it would be really lovely. It's all right, I'm talking a bit funny because there's somebody walking along here who's from the field who's making funny noises and they can't see me so they don't know I'm here but it's a bit creepy. Anyway, I think I'm going to pack up and go and I've had a good session this morning. Thank you for all your advice everyone. I'm going to do more of this, I've really enjoyed it. Um, there's one particular picture of the greens I like. It's this one. I didn't even try to make them for a picture but it just did. Uh, no colours and like you say I think if you don't put trees in and try not to think about them it's um it seems to help is more mark making and runners and drips and splats and things so uh, yeah I enjoyed that. Next time I'm gonna come down I'm gonna come down with a limited palette so um yeah now I know where it, these greens the worst thing was that I did when I came down was just um I turned the camera back round. Worst thing was I forgot to bring the water. <laughs> so I had to use ink, I had no choice and um I've just had to sort of every now and then do a bit of a spit which is disgusting. Um, so if anybody know, doesn't ever want to buy one of my um, paintings because it's covered in spit. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't get it from Red River because I can't get down to it. It's all, you can't get down to the, to the bit where you need to be. So, but I've had such fun all down here all on my own. It's been great. We work all down there, look. All down here, look. Great fun. Okay, bye guys. Well, this is what I came back with. Um, so, what have I learned? Well, these colours here were amazing. These colours were these greens. They're more of a realistic green rather than a silly green that you would use, like, uh, like this. This kind of green. So, um, it's like, it's not what greens are out there so um and that was just mixed with black and yellow and then um the paler areas which is more of a lime green uh, they were done with a, a woody pencil so i've learned quite a bit from that uh, and there's yellow ochre in there and and all sorts so yeah and then on top was all my uh, mark making and it was all with ink so yeah it was enjoyable to do and this is another one here I just was just as a memory to myself that you know obviously we all know that trees for instance 
the lighter at the top and as they come down they get darker and they get darker um, but uh, rather than doing it as a tree sort of um, element I did it just going across the page just while well, I got the paint on my brush so and then I just put some black areas over the top with the palette knife which gave it a bit of contrast I'm not not that I'm after a picture anyway and then just a little bit of fencing because there was a little bit of broken down fence in there and um, but I'd, I'd find a different and a better way to portray that and this was again I just put down the last color that was in here uh which one was it yeah this color here and put that down first this time and then just went over the top with some splatters and again i love the mark uh, that, that uh, a palette knife makes i can't i can't replicate that you know um, with a brush and do it myself it's it's a lovely mark and um it seems to just go over the top of anything it's really nice and gives it a nice feel to it so again uh, more of the squiggly lines here with the mark making so i learnt a lot from that as well and some more woody pencils and obviously um if you wet them woody pencils then you know you, you can bring it in like it's like watercolor here so you can just bring it in the, uh, the it's like it comes out as a lovely lime green but it makes a nice contrast against it again not aiming for a pitch but just doing some marks and being aware of where the darker areas would be which would be towards the bottom um but um for dark contrast areas there were some high up as well so uh, to be aware of that uh, in between the trees so and here again um dark areas this time when i was looking at the dark areas went right the way up here in between the trees and the light areas uh, with the yellow the yellow was a bit too much obviously um it would be a pale yellow that i could mix there but there's only so many colors i could mix there i hadn't taken my water with me and then some black ink over the top uh, not black ink it's in india ink and um the one thing that i liked was this mark here um which came over the top um, and it was while it was still wet and I just smudged it across literally with a stick and um, it came out, I really like that mark there which would, would make really a great tree bark um, so that's something else that I've learnt from that uh, yeah really and like the, the dark areas down here yeah I like how the composition came more diagonally across here as well not that I was aiming for a picture at all this one uh, came out as a bit more of a picture again the light areas at the top but it was a bit too bright of areas at the top. I was thinking about the tops of trees, really, and then you know, darker and get, and then, but, uh, and then darker at the bottom to gain uh, more contrast. But when I went lighter in the middle, I learned that it was it was good because that um, gave the effect of like some water. So it was like going light to dark to light to dark. So there was a uh, lot of things uh, learnt from this picture, and I was really impressed even though again it's not a picture picture and um with my palette knife here going across with lines on the sides of it and i just blobbed some uh, yellow on the end of it and again with a palette knife going across the dark areas to give it interesting marks they always look like shadows and things from the water and that so really nice effect there and then i went on to these um obviously i could have done a lot more but i didn't have uh any water and it was with me and it was that was a problem um because we're mixing it with acrylic so you know it was very difficult um but i don't only wanted to have brought in some more darker areas here with the with the green and again a bit of the lighter areas at the top and this was all done with mark making and splattering so that's one there here's another one uh look a bit too uh you know too geometric key for me for this when it should be on more what well, shouldn't doesn't have to be but more organic shapes and um, that'd be more like something stood in front of it. it could be made into a building or anything though and knowing me i probably would get carried away with that with a building there um and then yeah i loved how i was able to run the ink down and splatter it because i was out there it was lovely because i could just do the splatters right across 
and not have to worry about it um, getting it anywhere it was lovely lovely feeling and then uh, the last one um yeah so you can see when when you put the darker areas in lower down it does look better and then the lighter areas going towards the top and then your mid-tone in the middle here slightly more lighter and and things and it just it just you know i wasn't aiming to do any trees or any pictures i was aiming literally just to work out the coloring of where it should be in format you know because and and this format the this the reason why i've worked out um the reason why i liked um it so much that they were joined together like a concertina like that is because it's the letterbox format that i i like so i think i'm going to start and do my uh, work in letterbox format um and then that will help me to progress on to bigger pieces and things but the only problem is it's, you can't just go to a shop and buy a frame and you've sort of got to go in this in this sort of format and that's what's always put me off from uh, doing it really um and it makes it that it makes it a bit more a bit more awkward you've got to pay to have them framed and um it makes it makes it very expensive then um but yes the coloring of the greens i'm really um pleased with that so all in all a good um good one and a half hours uh, work and uh, anything that's not going to be made into pictures or anything like that I can go back into these now and sit and work on them I've got all the all photographs from Red River from the day not the day before the day before that and um, so I can go back into them and work on all those so uh, yeah I'm uh, really impressed with what um, I've learnt today so and um, the ones that I don't use, I sort of just rip them up for collage so they'll never get uh, wasted. It's never a waste of paint or paper. So, uh, yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.